There you go, folks. This is my newest toy of the day. This is my steel fence caps. Uh, I think I mentioned them when I made the first part of this video about building the fence as far as how I was going to, you know, fit all these funny angle looking pieces together. But uh, it is from Wagner Supply Company. Uh, I think if you look it up online, if you look up Wagner Supply, you'll find the wrong thing. You have to look up the Wagner Companies. Uh, and it looks like they're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think in the first video I said something about them being from Massachusetts or Michigan or Minnesota. But no, it's Wisconsin where they're at. Um, really excited about it. I've got 50 of them in the box here, but this is what they are. It's a hemispherical steel cap. Uh, it appears to be pressed out of one solid piece, so it's not welded or, or bent. It's just pressed out of a mold. Uh, very clean components. They're well oiled, so they're not going to corrode. It's good to see that they treated them proper like metal needs to be treated, so they probably won't rust up sitting here in the box. Look good. These are 2 and 3 8 inch outside diameter. So when you're looking for them, since this is also 2 and 3 8 inch pipe, but when you're on Wagner's site, they're going to list this as a 2 inch cap because or they're going to list it for 2 inch pipe because the ID of this pipe is 1.998, which is roughly 2 inches. So they sell it as a 2 inch cap, but if you look on the description, it's 2 and 3 eighths, which means that the wall thickness on it here is 3 sixteenths of an inch on either side. I lied on my first video and said it was a quarter inch, but that means the pipe here is also uh, just a hair over 3 sixteenths and not a quarter as far as its wall. But you can see, just sets on there perfect. It fits perfectly. Uh, and then what I'll do is just weld all the way around the edge and then I'll grind it down flush, paint it all up, and that'll look good. So all my fence posts will have a nice little rounded cap on them like that so they'll look pretty and also so I won't have to worry about there being any water or anything getting down inside the posts over the years. So anyway, just want to make this as an extra little segment. I'm excited I got my components in, but I got a whole bag full of them here. So if anybody else is building metal fence, it's just an idea if you live, especially if you live in any sort of area, Texas or uh, any area that has uh, you know a lot of oil production or oil and gas production, historical production, um, where there might be old wells around, uh, you can pick this pipe up pretty cheap. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we pull it out of wells. Like I said, I say we because I do it for a living every day too. I'm a petroleum engineer, so uh, you know if it gets a little pinhole somewhere in it, we have to pull it out of the well. Or if it's got too much corrosion on it, we pull it out of the well. Or uh, you know, just different reasons. So there's a lot of it around. You just gotta find the right person to look for it. And uh, you gotta be able to pick up some of it pretty doggone cheap. So just uh, just an idea on how you can build you a bulletproof fence. So that's it for now.